The cutting-edge polar research ship, the RRS Sir David Attenborough, which the British public attempted to name Bodie McBoatface, has set sail for the first time. The 122-meter-long and 22-meter-wide vessel will conduct sea trials before being handed over to the Natural Environment Research Council in November. In 2021, it will embark on its maiden voyage to the Antarctic to study the effects of climate change. The Polar Class 4 icebreaker will be able to break 1 meter thick ice covered in 20 centimeters of snow up to speeds of 3 knots. Its diesel electric propulsion system was chosen to minimize the environmental impact of emissions and noise. The Attenborough boasts state-of-the-art facilities, including accommodation for up to 90 scientists and crew, two six-cylinder and two nine-cylinder Rolls-Royce Bergen diesel engines, a helipad and hangar for two helicopters, and a lifeboat and rescue boat. The Attenborough will travel with the workboat Erebus and the cargo tender Terror. It has a moon pool, a vertical hull that makes it easier to deploy scientific instruments, such as remotely operated underwater vehicles in rough seas or ice-covered polar waters. The aft deck houses a large cargo crane and winch system. This can deploy a CTD rosette, an oceanography instrument used to measure seawater, and heavy rock drills that sample soft sediment and rock up to 2,000 meters underwater. The British Antarctic Survey originally put the Attenborough's name up for a public vote, and the public responded by choosing Bodie McBoatface. The British government did not like that name, but it has instead been given to the ship's long-range unmanned submarine.